And here you find the luxury pickers in their natural habitat of the Algarve. It's a Weymouth. 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 But doesn't it look like... I Weymouth? think it looks like, um, you know, the Costa, the Costa Broads. It's a vibe. It's a vibe. It's a vibe. Anyway, so this is Weymouth. Um, we had done all like Bridport and uh, Dorchester, for anyone who knows the area. Like and last week? Weymouth was the only one we missed off. And I haven't been to Weymouth for a long time since I saw Slade in concert. I am not that old. Um, Slade are still touring. Not with Noddy Holder, but they're still touring. Dave that was Hill, iconic, actually. Dave Hill's still there. Um, and we, we saw them at Weymouth. That's the last time we came to Weymouth. That was a long... That was, like, before COVID. I know. You're just shocked that I have impeccable music taste. What, me or everyone else listening? Me. Me. Uh, no, I mean... I'm, no, I'm shocked everyone's, <laughs> everyone's, everyone thought I was going to be, you know, like, into the Spice Girls. You, anyway. are, you do look like you're a Spice kind of a fanatic. No. Um, this is the first charity shop. Um, it's oh, Weymouth. Spit it out. There are a lot of shops in Weymouth. Yeah. Not all were built the same. I was just going to say, we if anyone who knows Weymouth or has done charity shop shopping in Weymouth... You, you'll you think, oh, they didn't go here, they didn't go there. No, we just didn't keep the footage in because the shops were particularly dry. There was one shop that, like, honestly, it was head and heels above the rest. Um, the others were... Mm, but when we went to Bridport and Dorchester, the reason I'm saying this is comparing, like like shops in the area they were like constant it was constant greatness wasn't it very true this is a barber um blazer i guess you'd say or like uh, over, it's not an overshoot it is blazer but it's kind of more, more uh, casual style um, i this, think it looks safari yeah kind of more like a hacking jacket style this is 35 pounds so that went back on the rail they, i think they oh was, you went past harris tweed then oh i did yes i never really look at harris tweed to be honest it's it sells not, just really a, well doesn't, blazers. just doesn't really do it for me it's because it this, doesn't tickle your pickles so you, you yeah know. i just slide right past yeah this was a diesel blazer okay 25 pounds i thought you were gonna say something additional to that <laughs> not at all no the lining was kind of cool if you were in the year 2010 i did consider picking up some diesel jeans today in some another shop we were in and i left them and i've been thinking about them ever since um, they were ladies, but they were vibey, weren't they? They were like uh, YTK oh, low the, the, with, the, with, the, with the studs? Mm, I'm still thinking about it. Anyway, picked up this. This is... um uh, <laughs> Where's the label? I-V-K-O. Ivco? Ivco. Anyway, um, they make knitwear, really nice knitwear. And it vary, the prices vary between 70 and about 110. And that was a fiver. Uh, based on design. We pay £5. It is a bit plainer Um. When I say plainer, it is a floral knit, but they do jazzy ones. When you say plain, like uh, the lady who's it's wearing blue. that is definitely named Jane. No, it's plain no, Jane. it's just blue. Um, it's a long line though, and it's sort of like, um, it's got like a really nice A-line cut to it. Anyway, it's floral knit, and that is a great brand to look out for. I-V-K-O, woman. Um, yeah. Do they do men's out of curiosity? <laughs> You're so funny. You're no? so funny. I, I suggest anyone could wear it, Austin, actually. No, um, no, I, I did. I, I wasn't dragging the item. What I was saying was you said that for women. I said, the do they do men's? says women. So uh, I, I was implying there might be a men's You would just being difficult. You would be Always. Difficult. Talk to me about this, then. I'd rather not, actually, because you picked it up. Pretty boy flu. Um, this was a American, I would call, hair metal band in the 80s, but they did tour up until the early 2000s. This um, this logo they used predominantly in the early 2000s um, on a set of live tours. Um, they've used the circle and star a lot, but that's predominantly... Um, from that tour, innit? Yeah. Um, the, the 80s T-shirts obviously go for a lot more like any band T-shirts. They go for about 300 quid. So this, um, this is an older shirt. It's like, it's, it just kind of, it'll be vintage at this point. It's still vintage, yeah. But it's not like, like you just said, the 80s shirts are really where the money is. You can pay like three, four hundred pounds for an 80s shirt from them. It was probably good luck because I saw Slade there. Very true. Yeah, the music connection. This is what I believe to be a bootleg. Uh, and you laugh when you say bootleg, but it's old 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 bootleg um vintage nike single stitch vest um these although it is a bootleg these are kind of sell to collectors all the time I, i've got i've got someone lined up for this already um and these can go for anything between 50 and 100 pounds um dependent on the color condition and print even though they're bootleg which is kind of interesting and for anyone who didn't know um nike was found in oregon oregon in USA. beaverton beaverton in beaverton um, so it's unusual to see that on a nike 
t-shirt does you that know, make sense yeah totally it does and do you know what's really funny actually the original obviously there was some of the original nike tags it actually had the, that that on and also more recently or some of the virgil obler when he has the stamps yeah on the nike uh, off-white collabs they had the 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 address on him as well which i thought was interesting streetwear is very interesting in terms of sort of the we've done a podcast on bootlegs and things like that and the streetwear market is very interesting you cannot sell this on ebay um, it will no, I, won't, be, I won't be saying this anywhere. This no, will be a private sale. A private sale. Yeah, and that's one time when we were talking on Instagram the other day with someone about relationships and stuff, like of different people. I don't just mean people in charity shops. I mean people who buy things. I mean people who sell things, like all, yeah, and, uh, stylists. And... Sometimes you can place an item before you even bought it. And that's always a good uh, good sign. That's the best the best thing to do. Um, anyway, so we found three pieces in that shop. And then we had a series of shops in which we didn't find anything. I do think we missed shops because the town was so large. It was so hickledy-bickety. There was loads of side alleys. So if anyone knows Weymouth, I know there was a couple of people that messaged me after we did Dorchester, Bridport, etc. Um, and we yeah. missed shops. Uh, we might not miss shops, but it was just... It was just strange town i think we did about i would say about seven or eight maybe nine yeah and it was up and down the main high street and then around the corner and back it was quite strange because once again i I haven't been in the town before um even before we didn't go into the town um but i would say there was there was basically like you said there was two parallel two main high streets parallel to each other this is sickening so this is claudie a peer pilot pilot I would do that with a French accent Pillow. in um, reality. Um, this is a spell out um, jumper, obviously, um, but the spell out is in velvet and it's like raised and it's six pound fifty. And I'm just like so happy to be alive. I think um, as well, what's cool about this, like you said, sometimes these spell outs, specifically from this brand, do well. But the fact that's the name as well, the yes. brand is even cooler. So they retail between one fifty and two hundred. So I would expect good 70 80 back for it i also found these now these are peruvian collection and they're not really connection sorry i always say collection they aren't really typical style peruvian yeah. connections that in terms of like the the knits and stuff these are a pair of flat fronted velvet trousers now i found the six pound fifty also but i found the original listing on um the Peruvian original, yeah, connection. the original. Um, They're called the firm, the velvet, velveteen of Firmador. Firmador is like a bullfighter, right? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. You don't know, do you? No, it was something like that. It's yeah. Like, it's, 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 it's a, a troubadour. 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 Did that, that's what you yeah, said, right? Yeah, Firmador, you said. Oh, troubadour. troubadour yeah. Oh, I know what you yeah. meant. Anyway, and the retail on those trousers was over £200. And they actually, on, they look really, like, uh, chic. Yeah. Anyway, um, so I picked those up. Um... I, it's funny it's, uh, proving connection that isn't knits is always a little bit hit and miss mm. however if they got I think if anything's got a, like a look to them they'll sell you might not get your £200 back for your like floor length maxi alpaca knit um, yeah I'm with you on that thing yeah um, but there's always going to be a market for someone who wants a really good pair of velveteen trousers I always spot a good uh, sunglasses case or ke- glass case. I'm just saying. At this point, I have so many sunglasses cases though; it's getting a bit outrageous. Tell me though, do we not make great money when we actually sell sunglasses eventually? Then they, well, they always sell. Thank you. Just, I'll, I will <laughs> say no more. It's just I have so many. I am on the floor in the hats. You are indeed, and these are some. some I think veg- are they ve- vegan or vegetarian shoes. What are they called? Vegetarian shoes are so funny. The master of pieces did a video the other day, and he had vegetarian shoes. Now, my mum used to buy vegetarian shoes back in like the early two thousands when no one else bought vegetarian shoes. Because she's a vegan. Um, and they're like just basically vegan leather, like Doc Martin yeah. wallabies. Um, but they do sell really well, and they do about twenty five, thirty pounds. Is it a rubber tire? Is that what the sole was? It looked like a rubber tire. Yeah, it's all recycled and cool. sustainable and all that. They were £30. Stuff. Pounds. Uh, yeah, they were £30. Pounds. This is really cool. So this is Old Label All Saints. And we it's nearly... It's just a camo we, shirt madness. We nearly bought it. It's, Look at your hun- face. it's hunting <laughs> camo. But it's... T- yeah, it is hunting camo, totally. But it's actual proper t-shirt material, though. Like, so it gives me, like, white trash, but, like... Trailer Park City? But, like great amazing like amazing i never said that was in a negative way i mean like you know it is what it is i love it anyway so um that was seven pound fifty and i actually think they would probably be good money in it but we weren't brave enough so these are again peruvian collection love peruvian collection in weymouth these are six pounds also again these were moleskin like that moleskin like they weren't velvet they, no, they weren't, weren't corduroy no you're right like soft touch stuff yeah I, I, it's like the microfiber of the uh fabric world i'm pretty sure it's moleskin that's what they call it okay you know when it feels like a mole 
Yeah, it's no, not it's a physical no, mole. Like mole. Yeah, no, it doesn't feel. Like, I don't know how mole feels. No, but um, I, I, what well, mole? It's not how mole skin feels. Moles are really cute, by the way. <laughs> oh God! <laughs> right, th- you, Bethany laughed at this. Right, I said walking up to this because uh, I could see the far window. Oh, yeah. this looks like a posh charity shop, right? Bethany laughed because the way the window was terrible. Then we walked in. I was like, "Ha, see, it's obviously like and someone's then, taken over an actual store." Let's finish the story though. And then Austin said, "Oh, I think it's an old Laura Ashley," and I said, "No, something like that." I said, "That yeah. wall's too way too discoy." I said. Dorothy Perkins turns out Burton's. Ding, ding, ding. We have a wiener. Yes. Yeah, you are right. Close but no cigar, but they're owned by the same people, so I think I win. Look at these. I found these. In but... your face. <laughs> well, whose face? Well, Mine. Well, she she well, threw them at me like it was nothing. £12.50. These are Todd's trainers. I I told you how heavy these were. You would not believe me. Yeah, like, I hardly see for a pair of ladies' bricks. trainers. <laughs> yeah, bricks. Um, So they were suede, like new bucks, suede, purple. Um, For anyone who doesn't know... Todd's owns another brand called Hogan. Hogan, Hogan. make <laughs> trainers. Yep. Um, and you don't see a, a massive amount of Todd's trainers because they sort of... Hogan c- cover it off for him. Yeah, yeah, you're right. They, they sort of cover it in Hogan. But those trainers are retail are like... He looks like Michael Myers. Right. Those trainers retail are like <laughs> four, five hundred pounds. Oh, they're like... They're, they're upper echelon they're so uh, sh- shoes and trainers. And they won't necessarily be standouts either. So it's just a kind of... Oh, I, I'm, I'm I'm kind of just spending 500 pounds on a pair of trainers because I need something to wear which isn't shoes. Which means the retail's always really good, even though it's a little bit slower. They are. Um, we, we've, sold, we've sold plenty of Hogan's in our time, haven't we? And you I always, just sold some Hogan's. We, you sold the black ones? I sold black ones, Sweet. Yeah. Um, 175. What, men and ladies, they were sell. This was really cool. It was like old kind of like what I call... Um, like I don't know Turkey kind of like from like the nineties, uh, Kevin Klein belt, just just a bit of nostalgia really. Obviously a knockoff, but just fun. Like they put so much detail, but like they were terrible too. Like the wrong detail. Exactly that, <laughs> but f- fun nonetheless. Some wool knits. Oh, thank you, Austin. <laughs> I thought I'd, I'd tell you what's on the screen, Bethany. Some wool knits. Fill the dead air that is that is your scriptures. I'm really really keen to find some jersey knits at the moment. No, I said that wrong. I'm really keen to find some Guernsey knits at the moment. <laughs> See, look at that desk. That's not our ch- a charity shop desk standard, is it? No, I feel like they could have merged. Black a smoked better. mirror glass. Come on. It's a disco charity shop. Anyone who like who has that. knows anything Ooh. about retail, that desk is like five k minimum. <laughs> from more plan do you know what I mean it is though isn't it no you can't buy them more plan no though, more plan wouldn't custom. sell that more plan is expensive but that stuff's next level what are these um, I found these these are did we buy these mm, you know uh, no we didn't I think we bought these no we didn't Maybe, okay. Oh, maybe we bought these. I, I don't know. we did buy these. I don't, no, I don't these know. Nicole we Far- should have bought them if we didn't. These are Nicole Fari for full line. Um, and they were full velvet palazzo, Taylor palazzo pants. I also found um, these. these, which are mint velvet. Now, I, mint velvet is a bit hit and miss, but I always pick up the jeans. And they were seven These quid. were seven pounds, but they were, um, they were wide-legged, raw-edged, like that little like flat front seventies pocket vibe. Yep, I'm with you. Um, seven pounds. I also did pick up another pair from the same place and the same rail, and they were a size eight, but they were like the jeans, but biker style, and I paid five pounds for those. And I expect twenty five is thirty back on both pairs. Um, not together separately. Awesome. I'm just taking you guys upstairs via the GoPro. Because I wanted to show the fact we got so excited that they had an extra level and then realised that we didn't need any pine furniture. Do you know what concerned me about this? Um, and it did concern me as I was walking back down the stairs. I love how you actually bothered looking and then we're like, no, let's go downstairs. Is they put the furniture upstairs. They would have had to have carried that upstairs. That's gnarly. Yeah, but you want to think of the demographic. Most people who are shopping in this this uh, establishment from just from the people in there the, at that point in time... Um, weren't um how can i say this in the nicest possible way weren't 12 and uh, i feel going upstairs to flick through some knits may have been a problem for no, some of those people have intermingled okay fair enough this i is... see what you're saying a bit of both yeah thank you this is a beautiful view and that oh. was the beautiful video <laughs> I was expecting something dramatic and it's just also ensuring you a, a tiny smidgen bit of the sea. Um, well, you don't like the sea? No, What's your beef for the, the sea? sea. I'll be, we'll be back tomorrow with more more luxury finds <laughs> from the luxury pickers. Bye.